All right, this video is all about how I launched this pontoon boat with my little ranger. Oh my god. One of the most frequent questions I get asked when I'm towing this thing around is, how does that little truck pull that big boat? And I'm here to show you my secrets. The engine in the truck is a 3 liter 6 cylinder, and it's got a standard or manual trans, not an automatic. That's kind of a problem when you're on the lawn tramp with weight behind you, because going from, you know, brake to clutch to gas, you have a tendency to roll backwards, add all that weight inside of there, and you can quickly get in a little too deep. Especially without four-wheel drive and it being a little one-legger, if you get too far in the water, your tires are just going to spin. The thing I want to do is end up on one of those diving videos. The secret to my success here is all in my tire chalk. Tire chalk, piece of rope, with one of the little uh, links on the end. Now, I originally made up two of these, however, experience shows me you only really need one. Second thing I have is, when I first started doing this, I used to actually care, you know, tighten these down onto the trailer hitch. Again, experience shows me that that's kind of a waste of time. So all I do is I chalk the tire, and then I clip this onto the trailer hitch. Just like so. Now, the theory here was, I can't just leave it behind the truck, because then the trailer's going to run over it, and then i got to walk down the lawn ramp to go find it. And if it's a a busy day kind of gonna get in everybody's way so the plan was just let this dangle along and it works quite well the only real issue with it is after I don't know about halfway up the lawn tramp you have people waving their hands hey stop stop you're dragging something whoa whoa you're gonna get a lot of those I think if you wind up doing it the way I am so when they start screaming hey just go oh, hi don't worry you know but you don't want to stop because then you gotta start over I will now demonstrate how it works. Okay, just got in the truck. I'm gonna take the uh, e-brake off and roll back a little bit. Load up that tire chalk. I can start the truck up. And pull away normally. It does kind of sound like I was revving a little higher than I needed to, but let's go ahead and show you what it looks like with the boat attached. So same thing, start the truck up, and I'm just going to uh, roll back a little bit to get the weight onto that tire chalk so I can let go of the brake without going any uh, further down the ramp. And off I go. That's pretty much it. That's that's how I do it. As you can see, it works pretty well. No real issues at all. I, I use it for all kinds of stuff. If I'm doing a jet ski or even my little aluminum boat, I haven't had any problems yet. I'm always there's always the concern of the truck backing over the tire chalk, but like I said, no problems yet. 